So this is, uh, notice it's gone, and now it's in here. So this is like uh, day two since we got home with our, limped home with our, uh, with our um, bike with the, with the, with the clunk clunk. With the clunk clunk, this will be, this will be part three of this series, okay? And part one and two, we discovered that it wasn't this drive shaft. Remember that? There's a drive shaft out of her. Um, or the, or the final drive, or the final drive, final drive gears, bearings, all that stuff all checked out, sounded just fine, everything looked still freshly greased and all that kind of stuff, so, and you did notice, absolutely looks beautiful here on the, on the, on the, huh, drive shaft, this is the drive shaft. Okay, so now what I did was I, this is going to be a change, because if you look at part two, the bike's sitting out there. And now it's sitting in here. What I did last night, once I discovered that uh, they were going to have to go farther, dig farther uh, up onto the middle gear, the output shaft that has got the yoke for the um, for the universal joint and stuff um, is up here on the middle gear, bolted on the middle gear. So we got to get back to this. Um, back to the back side of this middle gear okay so being that's going to be such a big project uh uh gonna have to go farther and you never know i know in hawaii right now cause we've, been, we've been talking about a trip to hawaii somewhere in the future i think it'd be kind of fun but there's a hurricane and i know the east coast has been having hurricanes and the hawaii's been having hurricanes and everything else it's like uh we don't get that much rain hey i guess a friend of mine orland glad to hear you folks are okay there in Wisconsin, uh, I was reading on uh, on VentureRider.org that you guys got like 11 and a half inches of rain in a day. Holy spamoly! That's see, that's why I don't want to leave the bike sitting out here because I don't I don't want to have it sitting out here where I can't work on it and stuff. All right. So what I did was I left the drive shaft out of it. Um, I didn't start in order to get to that output shaft. You got to pull the swing arm, and uh, I had the wheel and uh final drive and all that off yesterday that's how i got the drive shaft out of it um so all i did was just stuck a couple of nuts on the on the uh final drive rehung it put the back tire back on it so i could roll it into the garage now here's something i wanted to show you about because we're going deeper working off the center stand especially at my age I used to work outside in the winter time on this stuff <laughs> just lay the bike down on its side working in the snow bank or crawl underneath the car when them days are gone this old man cannot do that my arthritic hands that's as far open as i can go with that hand pretty rough huh so you know i'm in pretty rough shape did uh won the battle over cancer got that whipped you know all that kind of stuff but i'm tired and i'm old so i gotta have reasonable reasonable accommodations for working on stuff all right so what i did here cleaned out the spot got this thing all ready to go now, this is going to look kind of funny to some of you people, but I assure you, this is like solid, okay? Um, this right here, see this right here? That is a forklift. See the tongs on it right there? Designed from Harbor Freight. Uh, years ago, I think I paid, meh, I think it was like one forty-nine, and then my 20% coupon, so I ended up with one of those, all right? I got downstairs, I got a regular lift table. Um, but actually, this is actually better than a lift table for doing what we're doing right now. Okay, so uh, and this is rated at uh, 1,600 pounds, I think, something like that. And I use it to work on my work on my tractor when I gotta swap the deck or you know, that kind of stuff. Really a handy tool. Okay, um, I don't know if you can get them anymore. I assume that you can. So, so I raised the bike on that. I use two by fours and stuff to get on the frame, on the tongs on that. Got the bike all raised up, okay? But now this is a forklift-like design. See that? All right, see that right there? And you can tell just by looking at it what, what it is. You pump that to make it go up the pole. You loosen that to bring it down, and you pull that pin out. You put that pin in once you get it up to wherever you want to have the height. So I don't know. So now what I do with these big, especially with the heavier bikes, now with my dirt bikes and stuff, not a problem, but with these big bikes, um... You know, it's somewhat kind of like a rocky a little bit, and that's not really fun. You don't want to get mouse trapped. You don't want to get mouse trapped. Trust me, you don't want to get mouse trapped by a 
250 pound dirt bike, you certainly don't want to get mouse trapped by no 800 pound, 850 pounds of of a touring bike. So, so this is what I did. So then I have see this little jack. That's an ac that's absolutely an independent. That jack is independent of that jack. Okay. So all I do is I back that underneath the the the. If you want to call it a cherry picker, I call it my fork, my little motorcycle forklift. Back that into it, and I got a set of four by fours bolted together with a rope on them. See that right there that I've used a whole bunch, okay? And then I put a two by six on top of there, and I just put that under after I get my up my uh, my uh, forklift up to height, all right, and locked in with that pin. Got that all locked in. Everything's cool there. Then I back this jack into the between the legs of the other jack and put my stack of four bys and my two by six underneath there and just put it out on the end of the tangs of that forklift and uh wow solid i mean this is like rock rock solid um so there you have that all right so now what i'm getting ready to do is i'm getting ready to pull the rear wheel back off pull the final drive back off and pull the um, drive shafts already out, set all that stuff aside, and then I'm going to go to taking my swing arm out. The swing arm on these bikes, this this guy right here, this hollow tube that the drive shaft goes through, okay, is actually part of the swing arm on these old ventures. So, uh, I got to pull, oh, I got to pull the, the, uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember what the, what those are called, but you know this guy right here. <laughs> and I might even pull the rear shock back out and swap the shocks again on it, just for kicks and stuff. So there you have it. There you have it. Hey, more info to come. Just thought I'd follow up with this little quick one here. Okay, uh, get out and ride. And uh, if you can't ride, get out and work on your bike.